G'day, John Elliott from News Talk ZB. What, what are you focusing on this week as you count down to, to this test match? Uh, well, there's many things that we're focusing on, um, but, um, you know, we're just going about our week slowly. Um, had a good session yesterday. Uh, the intensity was a little bit higher than usual because of the obviously because of the bye week, um, and then a really good intense session today, which um, you know you sort of you sort of got the feeling that um, you know the boys are ready to go now, but we had to hold them back a little bit. And um, but it's great; it was, it was a good session. We um, you know we're just enjoying getting back into work really after having a pretty um, not an idle week last week, but sort of you know no test at the end of it so this week is feels sort of great around just being able to get back to work is everyone on site or in camp fit for selection this week um yep yep we're all fit and available Bowden, do you feel that edge that john's talking about as well in camp coming off those consecutive losses is, is there an edge to, to training at the moment yeah there certainly is uh, especially after a, a week off uh, with no game um, we certainly didn't treat it treat it like a week off we worked on our game we trained very hard and um, you know we're excited that we've got something to look forward to this weekend um, you know a game to uh, focus on and we want to finish strongly in this competition and uh, finish our year on a high. As a fullback, what, what kind of what kind of troubles are you having with that defence as an attacking unit which I suppose didn't cohesively work in that Argentina game? How, how difficult it, at fullback was it for you to, to imprint yourself on that game? Uh, look, we've learnt a lot from it and uh, we've been training um, the areas where we're going to look to exploit that, that defence. Um, so we're aware that there is opportunity and it's just about us ex executing it and uh, seeing it. So, um, yeah, we're excited that we can break that, that wall down. How tricky have you found it as a backline to, to break through um, in, that, in that last game? Yeah, we, we clearly saw um, opportunities in the review. Um, we didn't feel and see that in the game, so we're kicking ourselves um, for missing those opportunities. And um, whilst it... It felt like they gave us nothing. Um, you know, looking at the tape is always easy. And uh, as long as we learn, learn from that and um, look to export it this weekend. Thanks. Hey, Bowden, Luke Robinson here from USAD. Um I guess given how tight this, this Tri-Nations competition is now and, and those recent couple of results, where does this test rank in terms of importance for you over, over your career? Oh, every test is important. Every opportunity uh, we get in the black jersey is one we want to make the most of and, and do the jersey proud. So, um, yeah, obviously it's the last one of the year. It's a great opportunity for us to, to end on a positive note and um, we've got an opportunity to uh, win the competition. So um, we, have to, we clearly respect the opposition this weekend. Uh, that is Argentina. Um, we have to go about our work and um, you know just take it one day at a time because as John's already mentioned, we're pretty uh, you know there's plenty of edge around and we can't play the game too soon. Yeah, it's pretty rare that the All Blacks lose you know back to back tests. Can you can you put your finger on, on on where it's been going wrong for you? Obviously, you've been around for quite a while. Is it something that feels a bit different or a bit off? Uh, look, it's it's clearly been our our discipline. Uh, the last two games of You've seen uh, referees being forced to make um, some big decisions and uh, a lot of penalties against us um, and probably both teams, to be fair. So we can't give uh, them any opportunity to do that. That starts with us and our discipline. So, um, you know, you look at our attack um, and defence and uh, you can pick that apart as much as you want, but it starts with us um, not giving the refs anything. Just on that, John, um, how much have you been working on last week and, and also this week about that, that discipline and, and how do you train that heading into this week? Yeah, we have put a, a big focus on it um, during training. You know, we're pulling, putting the players under pressure. Um, Fozzie's been working really hard on that, um, uh, just to come up with some creative games, um, you know, where potentially the players might get a little bit upset and... Um, with some of his decisions, if he was refereeing. <laughs> and, uh, 
and um, and and, and it's, that's just part of it. So yeah, there has been a big focus for us off the field as well, and um, yep. Yeah, so we feel like we've we've come a long way in that space, and I think uh, I think we've you know definitely a lot of the players have learnt more about that, just about controlling um, their emotions on the on the pitch. Um, you know when things don't go so well, how we go about that. Um, how we help each other as well out there. So these are all things that uh, have been a big focus for us uh, last couple of weeks. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. Derry here from TVNZ. Burden, if I start with you, discipline you can work on, breaking down defences you can work on. I guess the one thing you can't train is how much heart a team has out on the pitch. So are you confident that what you've seen in terms of the hurt maybe after the wash-up of that Argentina game that there's enough heart in this team for a rematch? Absolutely. Was that something you felt was missing? Obviously, it was something Paddy said in the post-match press conference. Um, look, I don't think you can question our heart. Um, you can probably question the um, miss opportunities and um, the lack of taking them. Um, like I said, we learnt from our review that there were a lot more than we felt out in the game. Um, you know, our, our intent may not have uh, been where it needed to be at times, but that's something we can uh, learn from. But um, look, there's no doubting our heart and our desire to to uh, to win and to do the best in this black jersey. And I guess over to you, John, I mean, how much is that down to the, to the players to be driving the sort of emotional side of of going into this fixture um, and, and is that something that you leave entirely to them or do you have to step in as coaches? No, we, we're, we're all in it together. Um, you know, we've got some, um, you know, experienced coaches, we've got some very um, experienced leaders um, and obviously um, we all go about, we've got structures that we put into our week and we come up with our plans um, on and off the field and uh, everything's addressed and nothing's, um, we don't leave anything, any stone unturned, if you like, for a, for a better word. So, um, yep, I agree with Bodhi. There's, there's no, we don't have to question our heart. We do, we, we do have to question some of our decision making and some of, the, some of what we see out in the park. And, and those are things that we're continually addressing. But um, unfortunately, um, particularly against the Argentina side, we, we missed those opportunities and and uh, and and you know put us under pressure. And along, like Bodhi said, along with the discipline. Awesome, thank you. John, yeah, hi Neil from AFP here. Um, question for Bowden: you, you you said it was discipline that let you down. You, you've been in the All Blacks environment for a long time. I mean, this wasn't a one-off. Um, match where discipline let you down. It's, it's happened at least a couple of times. What, why? Why is that happening now? What, what, where does that failure come from now when it hasn't happened in the past? That's a good question. Um, we've we've reflected on that, and it starts with the individual. Um, every player has to have their their ways to um, get back to the to the moment and not let those little frustrations get the better of them, um, which gives the referee no option but to penalise us and it hurts the team. So it starts with the individual. Um, it's like a, a skill or um, it's like our physical training. Uh, we need to train the brain as well and, and put away time in our week, plan for it so that we are growing the mental side of the game because it is a huge part of, um, you know, the quality of an All Blacks team. And, and just one for John, could I just check how the, uh, obviously with the new coaching regime, you've been trying new combinations on the field. Can I just see it, just ask how the coaching unit is gelling off the field, how you're all getting on there? Yeah, no, we're getting on fine. Um, obviously, um, you know, it's it, it, like it's like anything that's new, it takes time to, to grow and um, to, to get better and um, I, I certainly feel as we've come along um, as a coaching group we've we've got stronger and more confident in everything that we do and um, and you know we um, yeah we're in, you know and Fozzie's leading us really well um, and that's and you know that's a big part of his role um, you know he gives us opportunity to um, you know drive our areas um, and that's 
and that's great. You know, he's really inclusive um, and uh, helps us out as well and gives us direction. Um, so we we've all and we and as a as a as a group outside of what Fuzzy does for us, uh, we're starting to understand each other better and better and better. So yeah, it's it's getting better all the time. John, uh, as you mentioned, as has been mentioned, you, you know, you come off a couple of losses, but you've also had two weeks um, since your last game. How, how have those elements played into selection? Because it's a bit of an unusual scenario having that, that long break um, and also an unfamiliar scenario of uh, losing back-to-back -back games for the first time in, I think it's nine years or something like that. Um, yeah, look, um, you know, we ideally we wanted to um, we wanted to give everyone um, time on this trip. Um, you know we, we have a, a lot of new fellas, uh, and we wanted to give them reward them with with time. Some have got that, some haven't. Um, some haven't got a lot, um, but that's just the nature of of being with this team. Um, it's not a given right to be selected for the All Blacks. It's um, you know we we don't have a lot of tests and and uh, and we've got to do as selectors we we do what's best for the team. Um, but right now we're in a situation where um, you know we have to do really well, like Bodie said, around um, this weekend in terms of the Tri Nations. That's the trophy um, that we're after now. We've got the bled put away, and now we're 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 in for a sniff at the Tri Nations, and uh, we'll be going hard at that. And just on um, someone like Akira, is he pushing pretty hard? I think, you know, he was unfortunate in that Brisbane test, um, relegated to the bench with the red, with the red card and, and uh, wasn't in the mix last week. Um, what is he someone that's potentially pushing for an opportunity? Yep, definitely. And, you know, Hoskins we're looking at as well and Dalton Papali has a good, had a lot of time as well. So... Um, you know, all these players have been fantastic through Super Rugby and, uh, and you know, they've been great on this trip as well around being, if they come off the bench or if they're helping us getting prepared, they've all, um, I can't fault them. So um, they all deserve um, an opportunity. It's just whether they, whether they get it. Yes. G'day, John. Um, Mark here. Can I just, I know this is just your first year as a coaching group, but in terms of the trends of the game, I mean, if you, I'm just wondering what you've noticed. Um, you know, the Pumas obviously were able to strangle you with their fast defensive line um, a couple of weeks ago, and we're seeing England in the north really dominate without the ball. Um, big, big time tackle stats, um, and uh, so I just wonder, do you do you sense or do you feel kind of a trend in the game, or has that been happening for a, a wee while now around, I guess, the domination of defences? Yeah, I think it's been happening for a, a while now. I mean, if you remember right back, you know, a few years ago, they changed the rules around the breakdown to, for to favour the attack, and uh, but then defence has got smarter around the breakdown, around how they can keep 14, 15 bodies on their feet, um, and that's something that you know I know that you know the sides up north do, and and it's certainly a, a certainly something that, that Argentina do. So, um, but. But you know we we've got a like Bodhi alluded to it before. You know we do see opportunities, but we we've got to be good enough to be able to take those opportunities, and um, and see that space and and and, um, and and look to get the ball to that space. And that's and that's not just running the ball; it's also kicking and, and applying pressure in different parts of the game as well. So um, you know you're right. There is defenses are. You know, getting real good, and that's when the All Blacks generally get beaten. It's when defences um, dominate our, our attack. And uh, but but we've just we've like I said earlier, we just keep working real hard. We know what the Argentinians are all about now. We've seen them play twice, and um, and we'll see how we get on against them on the on the weekend. Thanks, and but, but just can I just ask? I mean, how would you characterise your twenty twenty season? I mean, twenty twenty has been a weird year for everybody with the stop start nature of it and everything. Does it feel like you've been able to kind of, you know, find your best stuff or do you, have you been a little bit frustrated this year? Oh, look, it's, um, I, I aim for perfection, but I know that it's, um, it's not achievable. So I'm always working to be better each day. Um, look, I'm happy with where we're getting to, um, at the start of the year with the blues and I'm excited with the potential that we have there. Um, 
and yeah with the All Blacks it's been great to obviously have have some games um, uh, you know locking up the Bledisloe was huge and um, you know we've now got an opportunity to to win the Tri Nations so um, look I'm all about the team uh, the team first um, whilst doing that it's about me being better each day and whether it's at 10 or 15 at the moment um, you know I'm just putting my hand up wherever I can so yeah, I'm just enjoying each day as it comes, because um, that's all we can sort of focus on at the moment. Thanks, mate. Any last hey, questions? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, sorry, Anna. No, that's all right. That's all good. But I was just going to say, um, are you also enjoying, uh, I guess, the final week of having a full night's sleep before you <laughs> get home to Billy? <laughs> yes. Um, We'll be going up to Japan together next week, so I can't wait for that. Um, I think we have two weeks in isolation up there, so I've got plenty of time to take over and give Han a break, um, but I'm really looking forward to that, so thanks for checking in. Awesome. Yeah, no worries, man. Good luck with the game. Cheers. Thanks, Anna. Any last questions, or we'll wrap up there?